Today we're checking out my new filter, it's the Antlia ALPT. Hey folks, my name's Steve and welcome to Scotia Astro. I've been on the hunt for a new narrowband filter for my one-shot colour cameras so I can use two rigs at once in my imaging sessions. I'm currently using the ZWO 533MC Pro and the 2600MC Pro and I usually pair one of these with my Optolong L Extreme filter which I've been happily using for a couple of years now. I'm always looking for ways to squeeze in more imaging time and I thought another narrowband filter would be a good way to use two cameras on the same night. After seeing some favourable reviews and results on YouTube and other social media, I decided to grab the Antli ALPT 5 nanometer filter. I was interested in the fact that I had a tighter band pass than my other filters and I wanted to see how much more detail I could tease out of my images. We astrophotographers are rarely satisfied, are we? This model is a 2 inch version which sits nicely in all my existing imaging setup so it was easy to swap in. The Antlia ALPT is a dual band 5 nanometer filter which specifically targets and isolates hydrogen alpha and oxygen 3 emissions. These are prevalent in a huge range of deep sky nebulae. While isolating these signals, the filter also works hard to exclude any unwanted wavelengths that most of us astrophotographers have to deal with, like light pollution, moonlight and air glow. Although other filters have a tighter band pass, the 5 nanometer dual band on the Antli is meant to provide higher signal to noise ratio and improve contrast, especially when compared to my L Extreme, so we'll see how my copy performs tonight. The filter comes nicely packaged in a multi-protected case, including an outer box, a hard plastic foam based case and a thick plastic wrapping. Another appreciated addition is the included report showing the results of the filter spectrometer test to show the bandwidths that the filter isolates and the peak transmission lines at hydrogen alpha and oxygen 3. The whole package has a quality feel to it and leaves a good first impression, but the proof's in the pudding, so let's get it set up in the imaging rig. Before I do that though, I'll tell you what I'm going to be shooting tonight. As we're now into March, some of the winter targets are getting lower and lower in the night sky here in the UK, especially up here in Scotland, but I haven't had the chance to image the Rosette Nebula this season, so I'm going to shoot for that. The problem is, from my backyard I've got a line of trees blocking my view, so I'm going to pack up some gear, head a few miles north to my parents' house. They've got clear, uninterrupted views to the south and west, so at this time of year it's my only shot to get some time on the rosette. Plus I'll gain a whole bordel scale as I'm 5 and they're a 4. The other issue I'll have tonight is I'll have to battle against a near full moon, but this will be a good test of the antley to see how well it copes. Fingers crossed. If you want to keep up to date with all my astrophotography adventures from here in the UK, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell notification below so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Thanks for your support, it really helps my channel to grow. I'm planning to use my Skywatcher 130 PDS Newtonian tonight and I'll pair that with the ZWO 2600MC Pro which is a one shot colour camera. I'll also be using the Skywatcher Coma Corrector to help me get pinpoint stars across my field of view and I'll screw the Antlia filter into the end of this. I'll run the whole session and control all my equipment including the autofocuser using my ASI Air Pro. This setup will give me a nice zoomed in framing of the rosette and I'm looking forward to sharing the results at the end of this video so stick around to see how the Antlia performs in these tricky conditions. Well I'm back home now and it's the next day. I got started a bit later than anticipated last night after having a second helping of my mum's excellent apple pie, but I did manage to grab about 3 hours on the rosette before it got too low to image. Having had a look over the data and seeing the results in the final edit, which I'll share with you now, I'm super impressed with this Antlia filter. It had to contend with a near full moon, a very low target and limiting imaging time, but it cut right through all that and I'm really really happy with the amount of detail that I managed to tease out of the image. I'd highly recommend this filter, especially if you're a one shot colour imager like me, and I can't wait to test it out in some other targets. But for now I'll leave you with my results on the stunning rosette. If you have any experience with the Antlia ALPT or any other questions, please feel free to post in the comments below. Thanks for watching, take care of yourselves and clear skies to you all. <laughs>